Welcome to Buzzkill's Bookshelf, uh, presented by Full Metal RPG. Um, today we're going to be looking at Orbital, which is a no dice, no masters uh, system, which is a system I've been here, I've heard about for years and years, but I've never got to play. I'm just kind of going to look through the book, look at some of the art because I think the art's a little really nice. It's very minimalist though, and then we'll take a look at a couple of the uh, the the station sheet and the character sheet and kind of look at it. I think it's, it's got some interesting aspects to it that, uh, I, I recommend, uh, taking a look at this one. He just, he just announced he's going to do a second print, but there's still a few first few prints, uh, out there. This is a very, this is a zine from Kickstarter. I got a little bit ago, but it's, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's like a metallic ink on this. It's very matte, but with this, it's a nice treatment, stitch bound zine. This is obviously a labor of love um, uh, uh, by Jack Harrison, I think is the kind of, he's the writer, but he's also kind of um, the head of this uh, mouse hole press here. Um, if you can see kind of the cool little minimalist designs, like, like structure, the, a lot of the themes you'll see in here, the structures are really large and the pick people are very small. You're basically playing a, um, an outpost, a space station that is, um, neutral in galactic affairs. So kind of an interesting, uh, you know, Babylon five, uh, Deep Space Nine, you know, that kind of that kind of vibe, which is kind of a couple of my favorite shows. So and uh you're playing this collectively. There's no game master, obviously no masters, but there's no game master. It's very much a uh a collaborative narrative kind of game. Um you know, there's a look at these little, little ship here. It's like uh Really cool little ship. The, the, the little di tiny bits of design are are just just enough, just enough to like, oh look at what's happening here. Like, is that person getting attacked by these people, or is that person stealing? You know, fun fun interesting things to get you thinking just a little bit. Um, just you know, little tiny thing, and uh, you know, you get a lot of the you know cool little like. Uh, you know, splash pages where this guy is like looking out at the world here. Um, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. You know, not not too embellishing. This is a zine. Like, there, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this for the kids in the back. Like, a hundred pages is not a zine. I mean, you can make a zine that's a hundred pages, but like. Please make it by hand. I don't want to see your publishing desk. You know, like, you know, it, it is, uh, zines are a labor of love, and I understand that, but sometimes these quote unquote zines on Zine Quest are just uh, a little overwrought uh, for my taste for a zine. This is a very nicely done, very well laid out little book. Okay, now we're going to, now we're going to take a look at the station sheet, which everybody is responsible for. So your characters will basically be called upon to deal with different aspects of the universe. So I'm going to put this over here, bring in the care. So this is the station. So you, you know, you, you, you know, this is just like your notes and stuff, the threats and that's kind of your first page, but, and then you get into, you always read this. Uh, we are a neutral station, widely recognized on, Unaffiliated with either side of an ongoing war, station is older than our local community, and much, much is be unexplored. You know, this is kind of setting up, but you're supposed to read this at the beginning of the game, and then you choose the aspect, uh, uh, kind of some parts here. You could basically like padded bulkheads, like kind of putting in features in here, so when you describe your uh, your station great you're you seeking uh see what's going on and then uh choosing and pending threats which is fun so you, you get some prompts here and then uh here's a character right so you're the source uh you know t 24 hours cycle you spacers depend on you to get their stuff right and you can find how to play and then it's got these are the actions you can take here and then these are uh, your moves, kind of basic moves. And um, 
that's kind of your play sheet. And then this is your character sheet. So you kind of Mad Libs. Let me see if I can get this in car camera here. Mad Libs, like your name is a uh, Xavier, uh, it, they, uh, I am a Z Zantarin. And when you first see me, you will notice my uh, terrible look of of shame and regret, you know, and you just start filling in these, uh, uh, Mad Lib style. And then you kind of pick, uh, the bonds to other people. I mean, a little apocalypse world style a little. So, and then you can kind of, it kind of prompts you with looks and species and kind of gives you some, uh, things to go on. So that's, uh, really easy, straightforward. I mean, I, I think you get up and running pretty quickly with this. Um, and then there's an aspect sheet that I didn't print out, but basically it, uh, it has, a, a kind of how to, how to have dealings with that. So that's just a quick look at orbital, um, mouse hole press. I'll put some links down at the bottom. Thanks everybody. See you later. Rah.